here we are at the industrial park site in Brunswick, just trying to get an idea of the topography that we would be up against in terms of the construction of the layover facility. As you might be able to see from the video, uh, the elevation of the tracks is much higher than the property that we would be looking to build on. Uh, the challenges associated with that would be to bring in multiple yards of off-site fill onto the site to bring it up to grade with the tracks as well as the different uh, uh, wetlands that are associated with this property as well due to the uh, the drainage that's here on site. You may look behind me it does bring come up a little bit but it's a uh, it's a rolling topography where really it isn't uh, none of it is at the same grade of the track probably in the best case it might be five feet in elevation difference and the majority is in the range of 15 to 20 feet difference from uh, profile grade of the track. Okay, we're still at the industrial park site. I'm at the base of the railroad embankment where there's an old stone box culvert that allows the stream to flow from the south side of the tracks to the north side of the tracks here uh, heading towards Route 1 in Brunswick. The embankment is approximately 30 to 35 feet in height where I'm standing to the water level where there's a considerable wetland issue and to merge the tracks over the area above me would require significant fill or a bridge of some sort to to get from one side of this ravine to the other. We're between Church Road and Stanwood in Brunswick at what is referred to as the Brunswick West site in terms of the uh, different locations that have been evaluated for this layover facility. The property and the facility, if it was to be located on this property, would be approximately 1,200 feet from where I'm standing uh, to the easterly direction. It would be in the tree line to the left-hand side of the tracks. Uh, there are some balloons that were, that were put up to give a perspective of the height of the, of the proposed building that are completely out of sight at this time because the tree growth is, is high enough so that it's over what would be a 25 foot uh, height for the corner of that building. Uh, here in the distance is Church Road. Uh, I'm approximately five to 600 feet from Church Road. Uh, maybe a quarter of the way in on what is the, the length of this property. Um, if there was a facility built here, uh, I would be in what would be the access road, uh, the, the feeder tracks into the building, and the, uh, the facility would be located back here to the east. Um, we've located some balloons to give an idea of the height, but they're really uh, impossible to see at this point because the growth of the trees here is, is too great. We'll walk up there and take a look at it, but this is just to give you an idea about halfway into the property from Church Road. Uh, this location would be the approximate corner of the, the southeastern corner of the building. Uh, the balloons that you're seeing there might signify the, the height of this corner of the building. Um, Sorry for the interruption, but that's Route 1 in the distance, uh, the emergency vehicles passing by. Um, they'll go by shortly and make it a little quieter for us. But this is to represent where the building could be located if we were to build on this site. Again, this is the southeastern corner of the building. Um, looking down the length of the tracks, Stanwood Street is in the distance. Uh, you may see a car go by shortly. Um, to the on the south side of the tracks kind of hidden by the rail cars that are here on the siding is down east energy which would be on the south side of the uh, railroad crossing and then off into the tree side um, just to relate everybody's location is the back side of Bouchard Drive um, and you may be able to see a residence here through the trees um, somewhat obscured by the tree line but you can see the building in the distance. As part of the expansion of service to Brunswick regardless of the layover wherever the layover may end up I uh, just wanted to explain how the tracks would be here going between Stanwood and Church. Uh, there's going to be an extension of this siding here where this freight car is parked. The siding that that's on will actually extend the, the distance from Stanwood all the way and across to the western side of Church Road. 
and along with that there'll be an additional 2,000 foot siding on what would be considered the north side of the tracks so if we were looking here in the future you'd have not only the main line this additional extended track but you'd have a third track for parking freight and for the exchange of freight between Maine Eastern Railroad which is up to our east and Pan Am Railways which is to our west this is the uh, interchange point for all the freight that they transfer from the eastern part of the state heading south and southwest and just to further that if the layover facility was chosen to be on this site what the future view might look like is you wouldn't have any building in your view to the east as we're facing there would be additional tracks there'd be a holdover track for the facility itself and then there'd be uh, lead tracks into the building so there'd be one uh, for storage of equipment during the daytime and then there'd be the uh, tracks that lead into the building so as you're facing Stanwood your your view would only have ladder tracks uh, on the ground out in front of us. Now we're located at the Brunswick East site, also known as the Crooker site. Uh, this site, as you can see, is adjacent to the tracks, lays out real well. Uh, the grade is excellent in terms of location to the profile of the rail, so there wouldn't be much of any fill or at all required uh, it's shovel ready similar to the the church road site um, has the linear distance here in the parking lot for the for the building uh, one concern is though we'll go over to show you on bath road though the lead tracks into the facility would need to cross the connector over to the route one bypass and there could be some operational uh, concerns about how the conductor moves across that street. Um, this is the connector over to the Route 1 bypass here in Brunswick at the Crooker site. Uh, just in relation to how the trains would enter the facility if they, it was located to the east of where I'm standing, the turnout switch from the main line would be on the uh, western side of this crossing and in the event this facility was up and going, the train as it was approaching the layover to go into the layover would have to sit on the western side of this crossing as the conductor offloaded the train and activated the switch, the switches before the train could proceed across the crossing. So there could be some concern with an idling train stopped to the adjacent property to the uh, north side of the tracks as we are looking towards this direction. This is just an example of one of the seven crossings that it is between here and uh, Brunswick Station. You notice that there aren't any gates on this. There are the lights and a bell, but there very likely would need to be the upgrades to include gates for the protection for the passenger train to come in and out of the facility here at the location, which would uh, require some additional funding. The crossing, as you can see, is pretty busy here at Cook's Corner. Uh, the connector is very active and if when the crossing is blocked with the train movements it could be an inconvenience to the traveling public as well.